writing KC expressions for equations are based on the molar concentrations that are given. For the reaction involving gases, during the formation of ammonia, we can determine the equilibrium constant Kc if the molar concentration of ammonia, nitrogen and hydrogen is given. On the other hand, if the partial pressures of nitrogen, hydrogen and ammonia are given, we can determine an equilibrium constant expression called Kp, where we use the partial pressures of the products and the reactants. Kp for the reaction is equals to partial pressure of ammonia raised to 2 divided by partial pressure of nitrogen raised to 1 divided by partial pressure of hydrogen raised to 3. If you have the numerical values for these partial pressures, you can calculate Kp. There is also a relationship between Kc and Kp. They are represented in the two equations given on the right. Kc is equals to Kp divided by Rt raised to delta n or Kp is equals to Kc into Rt raised to delta n, which means we can convert Kc to Kp or Kp to Kc provided you know the balanced equation, the value of R and the temperature in Kelvin. This is how you calculate the value of delta n for the reaction N2 plus 3H2 giving you 2NH3 where all the reactants and products are gases. Delta n is equals to number of moles of gas products minus number of moles of the gas reactants. In this reaction, since all the reactants and products are gases, delta N is equals to number of moles of products, which is 2, minus number of moles of reactants, which is 1 plus 3, which is 4, or delta N is equals to minus 2. Make sure that you identify the nature of the reactants as only gases and do not include reactants which are solids. Here is the problem. Determine Kp for the following reaction at 500 degrees Celsius if Kc is 6.0 into 10 to the power of negative 2. The R value is 0.0821 liter atmosphere per Kelvin per mole. The reaction is N2 plus 3H2 reversibly giving 2NH3. The value of delta N for this reaction is minus 2 as we have already calculated it. Substituting the value in the equation Kp is equals to Kc into Rt raised to delta N. Kp is equals to 6.0 into 10 to the power of negative 2 times 0 0.0821 into 773 Kelvin, the whole raised to negative 2, where Kp is equal to 1.5 into 10 to the power of negative 5. So now we have converted Kc, which is 6.0 into 10 to the power of negative 2, to Kp, which is 1.5 into 10 to the power of negative 5.